So Chris <laughs> says, hi, guys. Is it possible to create tabs in modern sites? So it's a SharePoint question. I have different list apps, and I would like to display them as tabs. So can you yeah. create tabs in a modern site? Interesting question. You would, you know, if you're doing stuff in like a CMS, like WordPress or Drupal or something, you just expect that stuff to be there, but it doesn't exist in SharePoint. So to do that, you're probably going to need a third party web part or a one of the out of the box ones, which is called jQuery UI. And there in that web part, you will have the ability to create the type of uh, accordion style layout that you like. Uh, have others had experience with this one? Yeah. So jQuery UI definitely work. They've got a number of prefab scripts for uh, different UI elements. Uh, you can create your own. Uh, they allow you to do that, which if you're going to use jQuery UI, I recommend doing that instead of trying to pull down all of jQuery UI. That's overkill. Um, oh, yeah, Mark's Hillbilly tabs too, M. Rackley. Mark Rackley has a nice solution, but creating tabs is really, it's nothing really difficult uh, in HTML or SharePoint. Um, just a little CSS with um, UL tags or something like that. Uh, so it's it's easy to do. Of course, SharePoint being a website, for lack of a better way to put it, um, that stuff works. But if you want to get creative, you can go the React route. If you're building SharePoint uh, framework web parts, I'm sure they've got a particular pattern that's ideal for that. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Norm had put a, a link in that'll probably be in with this. But um, yeah, there's lots of different ways to do it. And if you it, really want to get snazzy, you can have a third party product that will lay over the top and can do all kinds of cool things, depending on how fancy you want to get and how much money you want to spend. And it's the fancy part that's the real thing. Mm -hmm. I think with the jQuery UI one, you, you don't get much in the way of formatting options once you're inside of mm -hmm. the the accordion area. So when when I used it in the past, it was always like, well, I want to change the font to a certain heading style or certain types of formats or add an image. And I don't think those types of things exist in the, the jQuery UI. But it's been a while uh, since I've used it. It's actually been a while since I've used it as well. Uh, it, basically, you get out of it what you put into it. If you just want basic tabs, you can probably have them in 10 minutes. If you want something highly stylized and you know you can tweak the CSS, to your heart's content and uh, get what you want out of it. So, I was just thinking. Um, I mean, we're going to include a, a few of these links as well within the article. Um, do we need to include a warning if we point people over to Mark Rackley's site? Does there need to be, you know, some kind of? Uh, I think simply mentioning his name warrants a, a legal <laughs> notice of some sort. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So. Uh, yeah. We'll just, it'll be in our own legal disclaimer to uh, specifically <laughs> when referring over to Mark Rackley's site. Bring back be, the splash be screen. Careful. I, Bring I back just, the splash screen. We need that. I just love that. Uh, I love that he wrote this new one, though, the, the return of the hillbilly tab. So we've got the hillbilly tabs and the return for the modern stuff, which I just, you know, it's, it's you know, bringing it back. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's the same budget actors that are involved. And, right, right. Um, you know, it's the part two. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, part, yeah. It's is that's the one with Jean Claude Van Damme, right? It's yeah. <laughs> and Jean Claude so. Van Damme. <laughs> I have a serious question though. Now that you're done making fun of Mark Rackley. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're never done. But uh, <laughs> oh, no. it's just a pause. No. It's just you're a pausing. natural. It's pause. an interlude. Yeah. So Sean was talking about CSS and SharePoint, and so. That should bring up an interesting question. If I'm injecting CSS into anywhere in SharePoint, is there anything I need to worry about? Should Microsoft <laughs> decide to do you, an there's update? There's everything you need to worry about. <laughs> the inheritance chain the size of the Empire State Building? I mean, yeah. it's, ugh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, Just, I frequently tell people they, they shouldn't and they can't. And if they're going to do it, they better be very advanced or hiring somebody to do it because the, the chain reaction to making those changes a lot of times does things that you don't expect or understand. Yeah, there's definitely a learning curve. You can judge somebody's um, skill with CSS and SharePoint by their lack of use of the important tag. You get somebody who like creates a style sheet that's nothing but important tags to totally override everything. They probably haven't worked with SharePoint before, but 
there are ways to successfully override other tags and areas effectively. You just have to understand that you are now in a symbiotic relationship with SharePoint and you got to get along. And if you don't get along, SharePoint will win. It's a car ride with your sibling when you were young. You're going to be <laughs> smacking each other. You're gonna, the goal is not to have your parents go medieval on you. It's in a, in a vehicle from the 50s pre-seatbelt laws as well. Yeah, probably pre-air conditioning I'm too. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> so I guess everyone's been warned now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. It's, you know, we're talking about these things as matter of factly, but, you know, there is, there is some art to it for sure. Um, the, the core principles are, are basic, but doing it right and in the right order, that's, that's the real challenge. So never hurts to get some additional help from folks. And I'm sure Rackley's tab will, uh, or his tabs will, uh, provide that level of insight because he's good at giving those pointers. Yeah.